Hey, what's up, guys? It's Malachi from Kai VFX, and today we are, I'm going to show you how to make an eye for a cartoon character. Now, um, I'm planning on making some other videos like this in the future, like on how to set up a cartoon character and how to model it and stuff, but that won't be until later. Right now, I'm going to show you how to do this, because this is something I figured out how to do on my own, and I just kind of enjoy it. So, first we're going to delete this stuff as always in Blender. Then we're going to press Shift A and we're going to go to Mesh UV Sphere and then we're going to make sure this has 10 segments. Oh wait, sorry. I want to make sure it has 20 segments. I always mess that up. Make sure it has 10 rings. Then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now we are going to in go into edit mode, press shift alt, and select this ring, then shift select this ring, then click E, then scale it down. And then we're going to bring it out just a bit, not so much that it's like bulging out. Remember, this is just a cartoon eye. Anyway, um... Anyway, so we are going to, um, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit, oh, jeez. Yeah, just going to, this is just a tab. Anyway, so now um, we are going to select this circle here, go to material, click new. Oh wait, ah, I always mess this up. First we have to go into cycles render. Uh, you go up here and you do that. Anyway. And then you click Use Nodes, and then you make sure this is all the way white. Well, let me go into Materials here. Material. And then we're going to click the Add button twice. And then we are going to go to this bottom one here, click New, and then click Assign, and then move it all the way down to black. And then we're going to select these rings here. Oops. Mm -hmm. We are going to select the, the rings right around it, around this black area. We're going to go to the second one, click New, then Assign. And then, we're gonna and then I'm going to adjust it until it's brown. You can do whatever you want with it, but this is just how I like to do it. I'm going gonna, gonna to make that a little brighter. It's kind of a more orange feel to it and less brown, because... That's how I think cartoony eyes should look. Although, it doesn't look that orangey. Anyway, so now, um, now I'm sure a lot of you will say, oh, that looks good. I don't need to, I don't need to do anything else with it. I'm finished. Nope. Next, we will add a subsurf modifier. Um, you can do as many segments as you want. Just make sure your computer doesn't break. I mean... My computer's crashed a couple times. Well, this isn't my computer. I'm doing this on a laptop, but you get the point. Now, we're going to go back to materials after we go here. Then we are going to... Oh, wait. First thing I got to do is create a sun. A sun, because why not? Anyway, I'm going to... Rotate this until it's facing the sun. Now, let me see. We're going to go into render here. And it looks good, but it's not finished. As you can see, um, when you look at most eyes, they have kind of a glossiness to them. What we're going to do here is we're going to add, we're going to add a glossiness to it. But we're not going to delete the materials we have right now. We're going to go back to materials, click new window, then first I got to pull this back, and then we're going to, hold on, find out what we're going to do here. Um, hold on. Anyway, we're going to bring this down here. And we are going to add a node editor. Let me go 
that up. Make sure this is in the render. And so we're just going to do this for four, not fur, not redneck. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to add a mix, a mix shader. Then we're going to add a glossy shader. Make sure the roughness is all the way down. And we click this. Now, as you can see, there's something just a little off here. It's just by a tad. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why. Well, we need to look for the Fresnel, the IOR, the, uh, the, the basically the amount of reflection. So we're going to go to Inputs. We're going to click the Fresnel. And we're going to go here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to whatever thing you like to use. Um, Google Chrome, uh, Microsoft Edge, whatever. And we're going to look up, um, I'll have a link to this website in the description. It has the IOR for like dozens of different materials. And one of them just happens to be the eye. Um, now first thing we're going to do, now I, I'm not an expert on this, but I believe the white is the cornea and the pupil is the lens. So... Uh, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. Anyway, so we're gonna look at the material here, the cornea, and we are going to make sure we get this right. So it's 1.380. We're just gonna do that. 0.380. As you can see, it's it looks a little better. But wait, we still have this. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other one, just give it a different IOR. Shader, mix shader, add shader, glossy, make sure it's turned down all the way, then add. And then I'm going to add a Fresnel. Now I'm going to go here make sure I get it right the lens is 410 I'm just gonna do that there now I am gonna do the same exact thing with the black I don't think it matters as much but it still gives it kind of a thing anyway so I'm gonna go to shader mix shader Add a shader, make sure it's glossy, turn the roughness all the way down, forgot to do that, anyway, add an input, make sure it's for now, loop, now we're gonna do the same exact for now we did for the, we did for the brown on the eye, anyway, so we're just gonna make it 1.410. Okay, and that is how you make a cartoon eye. Now, I know there are millions of different ways to do this, but this is just one I kind of like to do. So we go here. No, wait, hold on. Sorry, we go to material. <laughs> Why not material? We could do, uh, yeah, material, whatever. And that's how you do it. Um, check out my channel if you like to see more. And I will see you guys in the next one, I guess. See you later.